to Inside Ambition. I'm Alexandra George, and today we're talking to Jared Watson. He's a third year, and he's the current vice president of USGA. Hi, Jared. How are you? Hi, Alex. I'm good. Thank you for having me today. Uh, of course. Thanks for being on our show. So why don't you start by telling our audience a little bit about what your role in USGA is? Sure. So within student government, there's a lot of moving parts that can be hard to follow. And as the vice president, that's my main responsibility is to, for lack of a better word, be a bridge between our general assembly, which is where all of our work happens, and our executive assembly, that is pretty much the operational head of the organization. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of back and forth between the two making sure that really we're getting done what we set out to get done. Yeah, for sure. So could you talk a little bit about any initiative ideas that USJ has planned for this year or stuff that you guys want to be working on? Yeah, so I think it's good to start with 2020 has been quite the curveball. <laughs> and I think everything that we had laid out is now having to be readjusted in yeah. some way. But, you know, that's the real world. And as Drexel students, that's what we set out to conquer. So a lot of what we have been focusing on now is ways that we can make Drexel the most equitable institution that it can be. Mm. And you'll see that a lot with Drexel Community for Justice coming out, Black at Drexel, Me Too at Drexel. A lot of people are expressing their voices and there are people who haven't been heard before. So a lot of what we're doing right now is really listening and learning and seeing where we have to move because when we do move we want it to be in a way that is for the students mm -hmm. and not just for our own agendas mm -hmm. so i think coming up you'll see a lot coming out of civic engagement and academic affairs making sure that not only we're in touch with our community but that we're working with them in a way that makes everything more equitable at the end so what that looks like right now i don't know if there's a clear picture for it but it's a learning process, being in this position of student advocacy. So I think right now we're learning, and then we're going to move in ways that affect the entire student body. Yeah. And you just spoke a little bit about how USGA needs to pivot and move. And a lot of students might not know, but USGA is going through quite the restructuring right now. Um, could you talk a little bit about the changes that you have made as an org and why you decided to make those changes? Yeah, so I think if you look back at student government four or five years ago, it's a group of maybe five people sitting in a basement, probably watching some Justin Bieber music videos or something <laughs> like that. Like student government is nothing on Drexel's campus mm -hmm. five years ago. And it's taken a lot of hard work from a lot of members who have now graduated and it's taken a lot of adapting. And I think that's kind of a common theme is that you have to adapt to what you're given and you can't always anticipate things. And so in order to do that, the first thing we did was we've decided to expand our board, which is really, really exciting. Student government used to be a very small group of people, maybe around 30, 40 max. And we've expanded it now to hit almost 60 people. Wow. And yeah, which is pretty cool. And I don't think it's where we want to be, but that's something that you have to do incrementally because if you go too big, too fast, you kind of falter. Right. So we've expanded the board to fit more representatives. This way we can have as many diverse student opinions on our board as possible. And that's something we really want. Drexel is more than one kind of person, it's more than one kind of college, it's more than one kind of student. And in order for student government to be impactful and effective, it has to know what all of that is. Yeah. And so expanded the board to get more people on, so we're super excited about that. And then we've also realigned our committees, which are really the heart of student government, to align with the board of trustees committees that we have. So we have one that revolves around academic policies, one that revolves around student life, civic engagement, and then board buildings and properties. And what that is, is they kind of focus on the capital expenditures mm -hmm. of Drexel University and the physical space that it takes up. 
And so with that, we're able to really keep an eye on all aspects of student life. And this way, nothing's going unnoticed. So whether it's sustainability, international students and the struggles that they face, being engaged with the community, how we're being engaged with our mark, our food service provider, mm -hmm. we have a hand on everything. And this way, moving forward, we can have a really good grasp on all spectrums of the student experience. Yeah, that sounds like that's some really great progress that you guys have made as an org, and I'm excited to see where that takes you. You did mention that you are expanding the board, and I've noticed, as I'm sure many of our viewers have, that you guys have rolling applications right now, when usually elections take place in the spring. So. Why did you guys decide to have the rolling apps and how can students apply? Yeah, so I think if this were a different time, maybe a year ago, we probably would have waited until the fall to really start opening our positions again, because that's when freshmen are on campus mm -hmm. and they're about a fifth of our work. So we really rely on them. But when you're dealing with the times that we are, an unprecedented national health crisis and national civil unrest. We were like, we need as many people who want to be involved in this moment right now. Yeah. Like we want everyone who's ever felt like they haven't been heard, who's have had great ideas that maybe they were too nervous to bring up or didn't know how to bring up to really exercise their voice in this moment. Because I think you and I can both agree that this is really history in the making mm. and people are going to watch how not only our organization but our university reacts to this moment and you want to be on the right side of history and in order to do that you need people who understand all spectrums of it you know myself and the president tim halen we're both white dudes at the end of the day <laughs> the way that we've experienced yeah. is very different than what a lot of our students have experienced and we need that input because we're only two people who know so much. Yeah. And so in expanding our board now, it was just the right time to do it and that we need as many diverse voices as we can get so that we can really take on this moment and make sure that when we come out of it, that we can look back and be like, we did the right thing. Yeah. So if students want to apply, uh, how can they go about doing that? Yeah, I think that's probably a great question and a great <laughs> piece of information to know. So you can do a couple of things. You can follow us on Instagram at DrexelUSGA. We're always posting updates about our application process. And through there, you can also find links to really the entire application and how you can get that process going. You can email us at USGA at Drexel.edu, and then we'll redirect you to our elections committee. And they're a group of individuals who are incredibly informed with the process and they'll be able to help you out. So really the best way to get going is to just reach out to us, see if it's something that you want to do and that you're passionate about it and we'll get you on the right track. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again, Jared, for taking the time to be on our show and thank you for your work in serving the student body. <laughs> it seems yeah, like USGA you. is doing a lot of great stuff. Yeah, and thank you for also really highlighting the student voice and the voice of the university. It's really awesome to see. So thank you for having me, and thank you for doing what you do. Of course. So if you guys want to hear more from USGA, make sure to check out their Instagram, Drexel USGA. And to stay up to date with our content at the show, follow our Instagram at inside underscore ambition, and subscribe to Drexel Television's YouTube channel. Leave a comment below if you have any questions for Jared or anyone in USGA. Stay safe. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.